Hi guys, I'm here today with what's probably going to be either the best success for Stitch Fix or my last Stitch Fix. My name is Fawn, this is my channel and it's my happy place. I come here to share things with everybody and have a chat and uh, have a bit of fun. So if you like that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. Now then ladies, as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I don't have a lot of success with Stitch Fix. And the last one was awful. The one before that was awful too, to be fair. And I was going to stop it, knock it on the head, that's it, I've had enough. But they got in touch with me and said, look, you know, we've obviously got something mixed up somewhere along the lines. Can we please, you know, try again? <laughs> I'm struggling for words really. Try again, just tell us exactly what you're looking for. So, before I get the things out, because I don't know what's in there, I'll tell you what I told them. I said, I am looking for some boho pieces. Embroidery, cheesecloth, flowing, feminine. These were all words I used. Um, I said, can, think about sort of anthropology, free people, that kind of style, pastel colours. Um, but with an emphasis on femininity, because I've got a lot now of quite sort of sensible and, and quite, but I wanted some really soft, I don't know, floaty pieces. I'd love an embroidered jacket, for example. So that's what I told them to do for me. We're now gonna find out how well they did. And if they didn't do well, this will be the last one for a long time. <laughs> As usual, give for 15 pounds, get 15 pounds. As you know, it costs £10 for a box in which they put five pieces. Um, they work off your style profile. You do lots of quizzes and things like that. Um, if you keep all the pieces, you get a, I believe it's 20% discount. Could be 15. I will check that. Um, I don't want to give you the wrong idea. Inside, you get a, a sticky label that goes on the box to return anything you don't like. Obviously, they hope you'll get five for five. I've never got near five for five with Stitch Fix. You get an oh hello and you get a price list. The price list I don't look at. <laughs> and I'm always a bit wary about the oh hello. So who's styled me this time? Gavin. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna read any more than that. A chap called Gavin has done this. So let's open it up and look at the items. Ooh. Okay. For a start off, the colours are not pastel. They're not saying boho to me either. I suppose a bit of denim maybe is, but I'm worried. <laughs> First up we have a black, oh now, see now he is trying for the boho. A black top, very pretty, with um, lace on the back. Can you see on the top little piece? Um, lace sleeves, that is quite boho. I will be fair to him and say, that is quite boho. Um, it's a shame it's black, but he was definitely picking up on what I was talking about. This is a Daniel Rain. Let me have a look at the sizing on this. This is an extra large, which may be too small for me, but we'll see. Um, it is pretty. It is sort of boho. He's getting there. The next item is a blouse. Okay, I wouldn't call this boho. It's leopard print. It's an over the head blouse. It's got quite a nice feel. I think it's a cotton, heavily cotton base. This is by a company called Part Two. Uh, Part Two something, let me just see what that says. Oh, established Copenhagen, that's what that says. <laughs> um, long sleeves. Oh, they've got elasticated, it's got elasticated cuffs. That's unusual, a bit like on a pair of trainers, or something. not trainers, track pants. Oh, my words aren't good today. Um, and this is in a size. Let me see if I can find the size. Oh, I found the name. This is called Tony. And it's in a size 44, whatever that is. So there we go. That's, it's quite nice. It's not what I asked for, but it's quite nice. Then, I can see where he's going, but he's obviously not got access to maybe the things that I would like. I've got a flowered skirt. Um... Again, it's a pretty skirt. It is a pretty skirt. It's elasticated waist, which is nice. This is by Objects. It's very wintry looking to me, the colours and the pattern on here. He's trying, but I, I can only presume that Stitch Fix don't have access to the types of things that I'm talking about. 
so maybe I am asking for the impossible then there is what is this oh I think it's a mini dress again in a leopard print um is it a dress or a tunic I can't make up my mind actually it's got a high low hem so it's higher at the front than it is at the back this is sort of brine nylon-y Oh, it's by mint velvet so it's going to be expensive and long sleeved I mean, it's just not what i was asking for and then last but not least is oh a denim jacket it's quite a nice denim jacket it's by it's levi strauss it's an extra large it's an original levi so it's probably going to be expensive it is the sort with no stretchiness at all. So if it's too tight on the upper arms, I'm going to be in trouble. So that's the five pieces. Um, he's tried. I just, as I say, I think that their stock just can't be good enough to give me what I'm asking for. You know, I was thinking of pastel colours and whites and creams and, and lace and embroidery and, you know, boho. Um, I wouldn't say that's boho, but I think it's probably the best boho that he could do with the stock available to him. I'm going to try them on because <laughs> I always do, even if I don't like things and I'm pretty sure they won't fit. I'm going to try them on because sometimes there are things that I think are awful for me, but are great for you. And if nothing else, we can have a laugh. So here we go. As I expected, we've got sizing issues everywhere here. So this is the skirt, we'll start with this. It's been cut on the bias, I believe, and it's given us a kind of a funny shape here. It's probably because I'm expanding the waistband far more than they expect it to, but um, it's a nice enough skirt. It is nice enough, but it's, it's lightweight, like a summer skirt, but I think the colors are more autumn winter. Autumn winter, I'd want a bit more weight than this to a skirt. So leaving aside the, the obvious fit issues that I'm having, it's just a kind of a, a nowhere skirt. The top is actually very pretty. I don't think it suits me, but it's actually very pretty and it's the closest he got to boho. Again, I think if I was keeping it, I'd have to go up a size. It's far too close fitting across here, but it is a very pretty blouse. Um, I'll turn around see me in all my glory but there's the lace on the back apologies I have a white bra on so you can see the white straps coming through but I think it would be fine with a, a black bra underneath it's just a little too clingy one size up and this would be great and the big question is do they go to another size in this now I know Daniel Rain does in America because it's an American designer Daniel Rain and he does plus sizes and so on so possibly they would um, I'm going to have to see how much it is because at the end of the day it is still another black shirt and black shirts I have in plenty. I wanted colour and flowers and lace and embroidery and I don't think they're getting it. <laughs> I've kept the hideous skirt on, only hideous on me I should say, while I try this because there wasn't anything else to try it with. I think this is a gorgeous top. I'm going to put that out into the ether. This is a gorgeous top. It's beautiful quality. Love these sort of, um, like as if it was elasticated. Well, it is elasticated, but you know what I mean? Like they used to have on the bottom of tracksuits. I love that, that sort of slightly sporty edge. I like the fact that it's open. As I say, the fabric's lovely. But on me, it's too tight in the chest. Um, at least I think it was well, weird that because there seems to be lots of fabric here. Maybe it's meant to sit the way it's sitting on me with this sort of twist, but I was thinking it was meant to be more like that. So I'm a bit lost on that one. I would want to go up a size in this, but then I think it would become too big here to accommodate what's happening here. But that's weird that because I thought it, it isn't really tight. That must be the design that it's meant to do this sort of crisscross effects here it's very pretty it's very nice it's very sort of at leisure but but tidy um i really really rate this as i said i, I probably want to go up a size for comfort um 
but again it's just not what i'm looking for i have a top very similar to this that i got in i believe it was pre-mark or possibly matalan so it just doesn't have a place in my wardrobe the fit on this one is great it is my true size um, it's mint velvet and i think it was an extra large <coughs> it's just not me um where do I start? For mint velvet to make something in this fabric, I think is disgusting. Because mint, mint velvet's expensive. This does not feel expensive at all. Um, I am sweating up. I can feel myself sweating up where this is just so much nylon and synthetics. Um, I know I've got nice legs, but I would never wear a dress as short as this. Now I thought maybe it's a tunic, but I've checked the paperwork and note this is a dress, okay? I'm gonna turn around for you. I'm not gonna be doing anything sudden or unexpected because that it just feels so short to me. Um, it is made shorter at the front, longer at the back, so that it sort of evens itself out, but <sighs> it's so not me. I, I, does this say boho to you guys? So the last item is the Levi denim jacket. As you can see, that would never do up on me. I mean, not a chance would that do up on me. It has no stretch in it at all. So it's really rigid. I mean, I think it looks okay, considering it's too small for me. Um, you know, if I had to wear it out and then um, with a t-shirt and something i wouldn't be upset but i wouldn't be comfortable there's no give in this at all um it just it's heavy lovely and soft i mean the, the denim on it is lovely and soft and if you like your traditional denim this is a great buy but i like my denim with lots and lots of stretch <laughs> for all my lumps my bumps and the things i like to do in life I don't want to find that I can't lift a leg because I've got traditional denim on and it just won't stretch for me to climb the fence. And the same applies to this. It looks fine standing still, but if I started trying to dig, I would not be a happy girl. So, um, yeah, this is my last Stitch Fix box, I believe. After all, if this is what fits me the best out of the whole box, but it's so opposite of what I asked for and what I'm into. I just don't see it worth us continuing our relationship. <laughs> so that was that. I'll run through the prices. I think you know what's going to happen with everything. So here we go. I'll start with um, the denim jacket. As I say, it's lovely. It's Levi. It's, you know, it's a proper, it's a proper denim jacket. It puts me in mind of the denim jackets I had when I was a kid. Um, before they discovered the powers of stretch in things. And they weren't that comfy then. Um, so it's definitely going back. And let's see how much it is. The Levi's Original Trucker, that jacket is called, in Indigo in an extra large is £100. £100 for a denim jacket. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have a denim jacket from Matalan. I think I paid 30 for it, would it be? I'm not sure, but £100. No. The mint velvet dress. <laughs> this has offended me because of the quality of the fabric. I like mint velvet. I really, really do. They're expensive, but I like them. Um, you know, the fit was great. <laughs> But what gives with this awful, awful nylon fabric? I don't understand it. I understand it when cheap shops do it because, you know, they don't want to spend a lot of money on fabric if they're not going to charge a lot of money for the item. But I do make clothes myself. I know what fabric costs. And this stuff is rubbish. And it's called the Lottie Animal Print Mini Dress in beige in an 18, and that is £99. <laughs> they're having a laugh next is the skirt by object uh it's called the hannah the hannah high waist skirt oops a daisy which as i say i just i'm struggling for what season this fits into um but they say it was black in a 42 and that's 45 pounds part two tony blouse i was impressed with I think the quality is there on this. 
This knocks mint velvet into a hat. I, I love the quirkiness of this little, the cuff. Um, I like the style, I like the fabric. It didn't fit me perfectly. Um, this is called the Tony blouse and this is 49.95. If I was looking for a leopard print blouse at the moment, I think it would probably be, and, and fitted me so that I was really, I think it might actually be worth 50 pounds, but, um, and last but not least was his valiant attempt to give me some sort of gypsy boho thing which was the Daniel Rain um, blouse which again very pretty the details on this I mean I hope you can I hope they come across it is a very very pretty blouse uh, it's called the Becru lace detail blouse in extra large and it was £45 which is a lot for a blouse I always think it's a lot for a blouse. Anyway, let's see what he said. Because when he did a preview of 10 items, I rejected them all. Doesn't look like I got it quite right for your fixed preview. Hope I've reselected some pieces that you'll love. As always, feel free to leave feedback. Uh, I've seen your request for more boho and romantic pieces, so I've refocused around this as a theme, including this great printed maxi skirt. Well, I mean, that wasn't a maxi skirt, not by anyone's stretch, from Object. Uh, featuring the romantic rose print. Uh, great styled with black jersey or blouses. Speaking of blouses, this great lace detail style from Daniel Rain. This premium piece is great with skirts as mentioned or styled back to denim or shorts with summer favourites. There's also this great printed mint velvet dress. So he, he was trying, you know, he had got the boho romantic note. But it must be a stock issue, maybe stock and size combined. Maybe there's boho and there's embroidered and there's all of that in the smaller sizes, but not for us larger girls. I don't know, but it's not what I expect from Stitch Fix. Um, so the stylist subtotal came to £338. There would be a 20% discount, I was right with 20%, 20% discount of £67.79. Um, would mean I would have to pay £261 for that box, which is a lot. That's a lot. That's sort of £50 an item. Is that right? Yes, about £50 an item it works out. Um, so I am going to stop Stitch Fix for the time being because I think I'm doing much, much better without it. The whole idea for me of Stitch Fix was that they would find things that I wouldn't. Um, I have a lot of very plain things in my wardrobe at the moment. So, you know, if they'd found a blouse with great embroidery on it, I wouldn't mind paying £50 because it would tie together so many other things and be versatile and work with lots of other things. I want them to find what I can't find. I can find all of this and in fact I have everything that I want in that sort of style and at those prices not a chance. So that's it. That was Stitch Fix for the month of August and uh, yeah, my final one for a good while. If I happen to lose 23 stone and, you know, 12 inches off everywhere, I may try them again just to see if the variety is better, the choice is better if you're a slimmer girl. But I'm not a slimmer girl and I'm happy being curvy me, so sorry Stitch Fix, it's time to go. <laughs> Bye!